Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to be here to celebrate this day with you. It's a special day dedicated to women and girls all over the world. This year's International Women's Day theme, Gender Equality Today for a Sustainable Tomorrow, resonates in so many ways with all our experiences as women. It speaks about the issues that affect our advance towards gender equality. The conversations we have had this morning were led by women and men who have championed this cause in their communities. It's therefore indeed a great honor to be here amongst you. This year's theme amplifies the barriers that women face and the importance of inclusivity to achieve economic development and social change. It also highlights the inequalities facing women and girls, as well as vulnerable groups as a result of climate change. But it also brings to the fore the role of women and girls as powerful change agents because of their resilience, their courage, and the influential roles they play in their homes, their communities, our country, and the world. I thank the Ministry of Public Service, Gender, Senior Citizens, and Special Programs, together with all their partners represented here, for creating this valuable opportunity to help others find their voice and to celebrate the valuable contribution of the many individuals who have steered forward the journey of empowering our women and girls, individuals who have worked tirelessly to eradicate all forms of violence against women and girls, individuals who have empowered our women and girls as well as entire communities in ec economic empowerment because we know the nexus between economic capability and eradication of all forms of violence. There's also another reason I'm honored to be part of this celebration today. We have launched the start of an initiative that will focus its work on gender and social development. The Margaret Kenyatta Institute recognizes capabilities of many different people especially women and girls, as leaders in their own right. It recognizes communities as important contributors of social and economic transformation. This has also been the passion and inspiration behind Beyond Zero, and I'm truly inspired and excited about our partnership with the Kenya School of Government. Our joint obligation is to come up with practical innovations that are geared for social change, and I remain committed towards that journey. With those remarks, it is now my honor and pleasure to invite our chief guest, please be upstanding, the President of the Republic of Kenya, to make his remarks. Thank you, happy Women's Day, God bless you all.